Hello and uh, good morning car buyers. I'm Neil, the proprietor of Bath Cars and today's car is the Rover. This is the 75, the CD TI Estate Connoisseur model and has got a really nice uh, bit of spec and history to it. Drives very well indeed and we'll come to a little bit more detail in that uh, on that in the next uh, few minutes or so. The engine's spot on and it uh, has nice cold blowing air con which works fine. It also has a twin electric tow bar which is detachable so it has the swan neck detachable bit at the bottom and it has a uh, spit opening rear tailgate that the baggage covers present. The tool kit in the boot has never been out, I'll show you that in a moment. So uh, hydraulic strut to hold the back open and the tool kit with the skinny spare is there and there's the uh, swan neck tow bar. On the 04 plate, seen a bit of action. Not that high on the miles though. BMW 2 litre, uh, 131 brake horsepower, I think they all are. They're either 115 or 130. Seen a little bit of action to the front, I'm afraid the bonnet's uh, just slightly adrift of its um, bumper. It's the bumper that's been hit and just uh, marked up a bit, but the bonnet sits true and opens and closed fine. It's just the bumper. Uh, could do with taking off and being realigned and probably painting if you wanted to go to the trouble. But the original supplying uh, Rover dealer number plates are on the car, which is good news, and the sides are pretty tidy, and the glass is all good, and the electric windows are all good, and they all work fine, the blocking wheel nuts present. It does have parking sensors, but alas, they're just uh, giving a continual tone, so they may have uh, water ingress or something like that to prevent them from working. And there is a set of um, roof bars on the top. This corner here has got some uh, marking on the bumper as well. So really to set this car up, it could do with some just bumper attention and detailing really. But uh, in the overall scheme of things, it drives very well and it's uh, pretty impressive. And they're built very well, these cars. They're normally uh, considered to be a, a decent bulletproof motor. Okay, um, right, let's run around the tyre. So we've got alloy wheels here. We've got two M5 55 R16, so 16 inch alloys. Fairly forgiving ride. And that tyre is practically new. Good tyre on there. This one here. Uh, he's coming up to uh, its uppers, but the brake pads in there are practically new. So he's about a mil, two mil off the wear bar. So we're going to need a new front tyre there. This one here. He's a bit better actually. He's about two mil off the wear bar. A bit better. And the rear one again on the side uh, is plenty of tread to go. Not far off new that one. 80% to go. Right, uh, we have done a history and document section then for this car, so let's go and have a look at that. Okay, welcome to the uh, history and documents then for this uh, Rover. Uh, it's a Welsh V5, uh, so it's got um, Welsh language as well as British. But it says here that it's a Rover, it's a 75 Connoisseur CDTI Touring. Oh, taxation class is disabled, I've just spotted, so it will have to be um, retaxed as a uh, private light goods car. There's no problem, but just has to be done at the uh, local uh, DVLA office. Uh, 163 grams per kilometre, and uh, that's about it, really. Uh, three keepers in total. And the last change of owner was in 2007, so previous keepers had it since 2007. We've got a spare key there in that little uh, wallet. The MOT is valid until June the 11th, 2013. Uh, it's got um, a few little minor... Uh, advisories on the uh, MOT, two about the um, rear direction indicators being slightly discoloured, so that takes it to there because obviously there's it's Welsh as well underneath. Bright pipe slightly corroded and an offside McPherson strut has slight movement in the upper support bearing assembly. Minor stuff, no real worries there. Uh, the radio code is present and the service book which is also the owner's manual has got stamps in the book here. And the first stamp is uh, that's a supplying dealer. Uh, we've got one stamp here in 2007 at 37k, another one at 51, another one at 67, another one at 80, and that's it. It times out at 80. And that was done on the 5th of 2011. So it's been busy in the last year. It's done uh, well. That was at 80. It's now 114. Done 34k in uh, the last 15 months. So it's been a bit busy. But there we go, so history's there, MOT's there, spare key and V5. Back to the car. Right then, so welcome to the interior. Now this has got a uh, uh, fairly clean inside, actually. The roof lining good, the seats are in absolutely 
perfect condition with this sort of dark charcoal check effect. Three inertia rear belts, three safety belts yep, for safety, and three headrests, and electric windows all around with a decent hi fi system, which has a CD player. All the lights go out as they should, the airbag light, the ABS light, and the clutch is okay, and the pedal rubbers are in good order as well, as you can see. And the driver's seat is in pretty good condition as well, a little bit of water marking, but not too bad. The steering wheel's uh, unfortunately in a sort of beige colour, which has shown some uh, deterioration to the leather effect. But um, that's not the end of the world, and let's just fire up. So we've got remote locking, which works okay. Starter motor's lively. 114,388 is the mileage. Fingertip control hi-fi system. Driver's trip computer. Tells you the range, all those things, with that little button on the end. Uh, it says set and reset. I don't know whether it's got cruise control. Possibility it's got cruise control. Not sure. Checking the manual. There's uh, CD storage, 5 speed, the gear change is perfect. As I say, that aircon works nicely and blows nice and cold, which on a car that's uh, 8 years old or so is pretty impressive. There looks like it's got an auto wiper setting and auto dipping rear view mirror. Power steering's all fine and good. And uh, the passenger seat's spot on as well. The carpets are all pretty tidy also. And the windscreen's pretty good, there's no stone chips or any marks on there to report. All pretty impressive. Let's gonna have a look at that engine video. Okay, just a quick shot of the engine compartment then on the uh, Rover. Um, all looks very clean and tidy under here to be fair. Well, it's really clean, it's, we haven't cleaned the engine, there's no need to steam it or anything like that. It's looking all pretty good, it's idling over perfectly. Uh, but importantly, the uh, air conditioning system's nice and cold. We've got the high compression tubing here nice and hot and the low compression tubing nice and frosty to the touch so that's blowing nice and cold but uh, idling over perfectly can't see anything uh, any then detriment to the uh, car at all here all original under the bonnet here and the gas struts hold the bonnet up nicely